Hello, welcome back to All Feed Out WFC. We have another signing over the line. At the time of recording, this is still 24 hours left of the window. Obviously, we don't know when this signing is going to be officially announced, but we know that it's happening. Um, so I thought I'd get... Uh, I'll see, I'm going to butcher a lot of names. I'm not great with Spanish, but Cesar, uh, I'll, I'll go with that for, for the time being. Cesar, so thanks for joining us. Talk all about. Uh, we were just saying how to say a name, actually. Obviously, Guerrero, I can deal with, but uh, the first name, do you want to, before I butcher it, do you want to talk us through how uh, the pronunciation is correctly said for a name? In Spanish, Irene. I guess go. by the letters in English, it might be Irene, but Irene. <laughs> There we go. We'll go with that one. Um, so I'll just actually straight from the off then, what your thoughts are on this swap? Because it kind of came out of nowhere. Um, uh, obviously, a swap deal with with Vilda Barisa going the other way. Um, but what's your kind of initial thoughts on on this one overall? Yeah, it was very surprising for us because the the summer transfer window ended here a few days ago last week. So we didn't know what Atleti did because. Everything was was done. We we thought, but then uh, it might it seemed like Atleti registered bid the boy Risa in in the in the Madrid Federation. So it appeared from from nowhere, and yeah, I think it might be a, a good transfer good transfer for for the both clubs because Bill uh, didn't have minutes in Manchester and. The Irene Guerrero transfer, she she came to Atletico de Madrid last year and it was exciting for, for Atletico fans and she didn't do that good because people were, were excited but because of some injuries she didn't have continuity. So yeah, I think it might be good for, for the both clubs. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. You mentioned playing time. I actually start with that question actually because... Um, Obviously, you mentioned about Vilda. There was a lot of, obviously, uh, talk about her and her lack of game time, particularly last season. Um, do you think um, she would have taken this swap if she wasn't guaranteed some kind of minutes? You mentioned, obviously, her injuries that she had last season. Where do you think she's kind of accepted a role at United? Because that midfield doesn't get rotated a lot, or it certainly hasn't off evidence that we've seen so far. It doesn't get rotated too much. Do you think she's going to be happy playing that kind of fringe role or do you think she's going to be pushing to start almost? Um, she will want to start, I think, because despite having injuries last season, she played like uh, 1,500 minutes. That's compared to what Bilda played, it's a lot. So, yeah, I think she she will push to, to start. She won't to start because obviously Spain have the the Olympic Games if they qualify, so she wants to maintain that position in the national team too. I think that's it, isn't it? It's when you look at that, obviously for the older, that was a key uh, thing. Hagerisa, obviously, who previously led Norway, was very vocal about United and very vocal about Vilda's career um, in terms of not playing enough. Uh, to get into the national side. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I really am intrigued because obviously we've got Lisa Narsen coming back into the side. Selim, obviously the captain. Lad's always there. Toon is there. I really don't know <laughs> where she's going to fit into this midfield. Um, so for people who maybe haven't watched her then, uh, where would you kind of say, or what would you say her uh, kind of, in fact, no, where would you say her best position is? We'll start with that first. Obviously we know she's a midfielder, but obviously there's, lots of variations of midfielder but where would you say her kind of best position is her best position would be like in in central midfield but in the left this is where she she played better but uh, she can play cdm too so she can adapt so off the back of that what would you kind of say her standout like attributes are then um yeah, if she's is if you're saying now she's certainly better as a as a deeper midfielder, mm. um, is that kind of where her best game is? Are we are we expecting some goals from her? Or is it more of a defensive sign? And where would you kind of see uh, from from that point of view? From what I've seen and and what friends that follow what Letty told me, uh, she has she's great on the ball. She's great and. It's like a box-to-box -box midfielder, so she can go deep or or go up, and uh, also uh, she has a, a very good uh, long shot, long distance shot. So she can go to to the area, she can go deep to to move the ball, to control the 
the center. So I would say like a box to box sometimes maybe. It's just gonna be again. I've got so many questions in terms of. <laughs> I, I get the signing from Atletico's point of view. I don't really get it from United, especially if you believe the rumours, obviously, that United are looking for Cooney Cross in January. Hmm. That'll be another midfielder. And it's like, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm really intrigued to see this one. Um, for people who maybe don't watch, we, we probably do have some viewers that do watch the, the Spanish League a lot. Um, uh, obviously, with Barcelona and Madrid and, and these kinds of sides being, obviously, world names. But what would you kind of say the difference between the leagues are in terms of how she's going to need to adapt to the WSL, um, and obviously the 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 the, 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 yeah, get me words out, the different styles in play um, from the Spanish football to, to over here? Well, uh, all the Spanish players that go to England always say that the difference, the main difference, is the physicality. Because, uh, for example, Leila Leila and Leila Alexandri from from City. In interviews, they, they always say that, Vicky Lozada too. So I, I'm thinking that uh, physicality would be the, the main difference because, because in Spain, the, the matches are more calm, the more uh, tiki-taka. <laughs> but in England, it's more like a direct style. Obviously, some teams are, are more of uh, possession-based possession teams, but... Yeah, for for her the the physicality, I think it will be the the biggest difference. I think that's certainly going to be key. Um, certainly, looking at other sides in the WSL that are bringing up play, obviously Aston Villa, uh, Brighton mm -hmm. have made some good signings this window as well. Um, what kind of time window do you think we're talking about here then, in terms of how long you think she's going to need to adapt to WSL? Because we've got a couple of preseason games, obviously mm -hmm. one today at the time of recording this against Liverpool, um, and then one more after and then we've got this obviously the nations league and so on so she's not going to have a lot of time to bed into the squad if she well obviously depending on what happens with spain um <laughs> in in those couple of fixtures yeah. um but how long do you think united fans need to <clears throat> i guess give her to to settle into the side and and to and to bed into the wsl the good thing is that spanish uh, the spanish league should have started last week so She's fit. She she has been training with with Atleti, and I don't know how much time, but I think she she will be motivated because it's the she she uh, it's her her first uh, experience overseas. So I think she she will like it. She will be motivated. Obviously, United have Lucia Garcia there, so. She will be with her, and I don't know how much time, but um, she will start pushing. I think if she had less minutes at the at the start, it's normal. So I don't know, but by December, I think she could be okay. You mentioned obviously this is her first time kind of overseas. Just looking at her kind of career history, obviously with. Uh... With Real, uh, with Real Betis, obviously with Levante, and now obviously Atletico Madrid, uh, now obviously United. Um, so being in Spain, pretty much her whole career. Um, do you think that's going to be a bit of a shock for her? obviously that kind of obviously the, the culture shock you mentioned about you know, obviously having Lucia Garcia here? That's obviously going to help. Uh, we saw that when Lucia came to the club that Honor was obviously mm -hmm. already at, at United at the time. Um, how do you think she's going to adapt to to that side? Of I don't know whether she speaks English or not, but obviously. Yeah, she'll have Lucia there if she doesn't. Um, but do you think that could be a, a potential issue, or do you think she'll she'll be all right with that? The the good thing for her is that there are there is like a Spanish group with, uh, as I said uh, early earlier, with uh, La Alexandri, Leila Ojavi from City, Dana Castellanos too, Lucia Garcia. So they are like a group, and this this might help to for her to adapt to to a city like Manchester, a, a culture like the, the English. So I don't think she she have dif she will have difficulties on, on that. Oh, no. <laughs> um, that's, a, that's a good start. Um, I guess the uh, kind of um, I guess wrapping up uh, this kind of profiling, I guess, is in terms of what you 
how would you rate the signing um, in terms of from her point of view, in terms of from her own career and, and progression and so on, and also how you'd rate it from a uh, from a club's point of view? The first time I saw it, I thought that Atleti win won the transfer because uh, I mostly watch the WSL and what I've seen from from Bill de Warrisa was very good despite not having that much minutes. But Irene Guerrero might need this this opportunity because last year at Atleti she didn't um, she didn't was at her best. So she might need a change. So we'll see if if that is what she needed or or well if this goes well goes well for both parties. Because Atleti also signed Bilde for, for only one year. Obviously, they didn't want to risk it because she didn't play that much minutes. So uh, right now, I would think that, that Atleti won the, won the deal, but, but we'll see. No, absolutely fair enough. You mentioned that while we got you, actually, you mentioned, obviously, you watch a lot of the WSL. Is this the kind of signing you think United need? Obviously, we came second last year, got to the FA Cup final. Is this the kind of player and the transfers that we've seen so far? Do you feel like that's what United have, have needed this week, this, this summer? Well, Irene, uh, she didn't play with continuity, as I, as I said, but she's our world champion. She she's been with with the national with the Spanish national team for for some years now. She she is always there. So, in terms of of names with uh, JC, I think United are doing well. At the at the beginning of the of the summer transfer window, I thought that United were bad, but I think they they are doing well at the end, and that that is important for them. For sure, if we're going to make that jump over Chelsea, we need to make sure these signers hit the ground running. That is for sure. Um, thank you so much for joining us. I apologize, it's a slightly shorter one on, on this one for both of our time frames <laughs> to, to sneak this one in. Um, if people want to follow you or find any of your work and things like that, where can people do all of those things? Um, where I do my work is mainly Twitter, but I also have my well, Twitter or X. I also have my my own web page where I I do the information about the WSL in Spanish, so that's where you can find me. No, for sure, you might be seeing a little bit, uh, you know, over the next kind of few weeks as well on on that one. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. Obviously, I'll put your link to your Twitter in the description, so it's easy for people to find. Okay. <laughs> on that one obviously if you listening to us on Spotify I hope you enjoy coming to tweet us at all for United WSC to leave us your thoughts obviously if you're watching on YouTube drop us a comment what you think on the signing um, because it's certainly divided a few I think obviously because Bill will be in such a fan's favourite uh, on that one so we'll, we'll see see what your thoughts are on that one make sure you like in the video and subscribe and all of that stuff and we shall see you guys in the next one yeah!